All right, this video is going to cover how to find tax tip and discount, as well as total cost and sale price. There's three possible ways you can do this. You can multiply, then add. You can multiply, then subtract. Or you can just multiply. Now, we're going to go into more detail in a minute, but there's one of these three choices you can do for each of these problems. So this first problem, if you pay a 7% tax on a $750 guitar, what is your total cost? This is going to be a two operation problem. You're going to multiply, then add. Now I'm showing just the adding, but you're going to have to figure out the tax amount by doing the multiplying. You're always going to do the multiplying first. So you take your original price. You're going to need to know your tax rate to figure out the tax amount. So we take our 7% times 750. In our earlier lesson, we uh, learned that you would do 0.07 times 750. So then you take care of that multiplying. So you drop down your original price, and you get $52.50. That is your tax amount. Then you're going to take that and add it to the cost, to the original cost. So that is your total cost. This guitar. It costs $750, but you're going to have to pay $802.50. So that's your total cost. This problem needed two operations. It was the multiplying, then adding. So here's another one. You decide to leave a 15% tip for a meal that costs $95.40. How much will the tip amount be? They're not asking for the total cost here. They're only asking for the tip amount, so that's a one operation problem. You're just going to multiply. You're just looking for the tip amount, and you're going to do that by taking the tip rate and multiplying it by the original cost. That's going to give you $14.31. Sometimes your decimal might go more than two places out. You'd always round to the hundredths place for money. So that's the extra amount of money you're leaving for the waiter, along with paying your $95.40. But this is what you're giving the waiter or waitress. So this only needed one operation, which was the multiplying. Let's try another. If you pay a 4.5% tax on a $900 recliner, what is your total cost? Must be a nice recliner. Okay, this is a total cost is going to be two operations. You're going to do your multiplying, then you're adding. We're going to take our original price and add the tax amount. We're going to figure out that tax amount by multiplying the 4.5% times 900, and that's going to be 0 .045. Make sure you remember this goes over two places to the left. And then you work that out, multiply, then you add to the 900. So this recliner is going to cost you $940.50. And once again, this was a two operation problem. Multiply, then add. So now we have a $475 computer that has a 25% discount. What is the sale price of this computer? This is going to be a two operation problem. We're going to do the multiplying to get the discount amount, but then we're going to subtract it from the original price. I'm going to bring down my original. And then I'm going to do 25% of 475. So your discount rate is 25%. That's 0 0.25 times 475. So your discount amount is going to be $118.75. Then you subtract that from the 475. So you end up getting $356.25 as your sale price. This was a two operation problem. You multiplied, then subtracted. $2,000 refrigerator is on sale with a 40% discount. How much money will you save? So on this one, they're not asking for the sale price. This is a single operation problem where you're just going to find 40% of $2,000. So you're going to figure out the discount amount. You're going to do that by taking your discount rate, making it to a decimal, and multiplying. So we go 40% of $2,000, 0.4 times 2,000, and you get 800, that's your discount amount. This was a one operation type of problem where you only do the multiplying. If they were asking for sale price, you would have taken that 800, subtracted it from the 2,000. 
So you always have to give them what they're asking for. So to summarize this, all you need to remember is that you're only going to do only multiplying if they're just asking for tax amount, tip amount, or discount amount. You're going to do two operations where you multiply then add when they're asking for total cost or final cost. And then finally you're going to multiply then subtract if they're asking for the sale price. That's about it. Hope this helps. Best of luck to you.